Hey everyone, my name is Maria. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, Merry Christmas in case you celebrate. If you don't celebrate, happy holidays. Um, either way, I hope you're having a really great or I guess as great as you can holiday season. Uh, today I kind of wanted to spread the cheer a little bit and unbox for you guys this huge box. Um, this is the Once Upon a Book Club box. I hope it's all in the frame. <laughs> this is the Once Upon a Book Club box Advent Edition. So yeah, this just comes out. I think this is the third edition they've done. Uh, the other two, I was not subscribed to them at all, so I didn't get them, but I discovered them like late last year. So I made it my mission to make sure that I got this. I did get it late um, just because of shipping delays because of COVID, but it's here now. I've opened and enjoyed everything. And now I'm gonna open it up for you guys and show you guys what I got. So before we get started though, I do have a coupon code. You can use code readingmaria 10 on literally anything in the shop. So whether it be like a gift, a, like, you know, a monthly subscription or just like individual items or past items that have been in their like regular subscription boxes before, which I think is great. You'll get 10% off. Um, I like their billing plans too. You can either do month by month, uh, what else do they have? The three month, like build every three months, which is what I do, uh, six months or literally once a year. And it's pretty cheap. Um, I'm in Canada, so the even like with the exchange rate and with shipping, it's I think it's still worth it. It's a lot cheaper than some of the Canadian options we have. Just a heads up if you're Canadian and wondering about book box subscriptions. I highly recommend this one, um, but this is their admin box. They have adult and YA choices for you, so go crazy. <laughs> so their admin box, of course it's an admin box, so you have 12 gifts, and with that, they have a book for you to enjoy. Actually, this is the first year I think that they've done like a printed and bound book. Uh, before, when I've seen unboxings of these, it kind of looked like they had like a like a little booklet um so they actually printed a book this year which is so cute i loved it the stories were really great i enjoyed most of them uh a few typos in them but i mean what can you do right it's not this isn't a professional um publication at all so i don't think it's an issue but the stories were really cute and the stories weren't like overly christmas like just to celebrate christmas if you know what i mean like it was just like general like holidays uh, being with your family, uh, things like that. So it wasn't like religious in any way, if that makes sense. Okay, so I am just, I am not a story reader. I am a gift opener. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to like show you the packaging of the gifts as I open them and then show you what we got because that's just the fun of this advent box and any advent box in general, I think. <laughs> By the way, some of these packages are rough. Um, I should have taken more care in opening them, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, so this is day one. It came in this cute little mailer, um, which actually all of their packaging is kind of like themed with the same like kind of look or color scheme and stuff like that. So it always looks really great together, whether it's obviously their admin box or their regular subscriptions between their YA or adult ones. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So of course it was book shaped, it is a book, but I'm kind of annoyed because I feel like if I had gotten this before, like with enough time to read it, I feel like this book would have totally made my top 2020 reads. And it is Song of the Captive Bird by Jasmine Darsnick. Um, I'll read the synopsis for you because it's just like, it's so, it sounds so amazing. Um, all through her childhood in Tehran, Guru Farouk Saad is told that Iranian daughters should be quiet and modest. She is taught only to obey, but she always finds ways to rebel, gossiping with her sister among the fragrant roses of her mother's walled garden, venturing to the forbidden rooftop to roughhouse with her three brothers, writing poems to impress her strict, disapproving father, and sneaking out to flirt with a teenage paramour over a cafe glacé. During the summer of 1950, Farouk's, Farouk's passion for poetry takes flight and tradition seeks to clip her wings. Forced into a suffocating marriage, Farouk runs away and falls into an affair that fuels her desire to write and to achieve freedom and independence. Farouk's poems are considered both scandalous and brilliant. She is heralded by some as a national treasure, vilified by others as a demon influenced by the West. She perseveres, finding love with the notorious filmmaker and living by her own rules at enormous cost. But the power of her writing only grows stronger amid the upheaval of the Iranian Revolution. 
inspired by Farouk Barak Saad's verse, letters, films, and interviews, and including original translations of her poems, this haunting novel uses the lens of fiction to capture the tenacity, spirit, and conflicting desires of a brave woman who represents the birth of feminism in Iran and who continues to inspire generations of women around the world. Doesn't that sound amazing? My voice is probably so monotonous. <laughs> so I hope it sounded as amazing to you as it does to me when like I read it in my head. Um, but yeah, this book sounds so great. And the books that are included in the admin box, uh, actually they did have an adult and like both the YA option. Um, the only difference this year with the admin boxes was the books were different. So the books that I got in this one is different than the YA one. So keep that in mind when you're watching this. I probably should have said that before, I apologize. Um, but anyway, so the books that they include in the admin boxes are books that they wanted to include either in past years or like this year's like regular subscription. Uh, so yeah, so we do get a chance to see kind of what they would have included if you know the opportunity came by and this one sounds really good. I'm excited to read it. In gift one, we also received this really cute little notebook um, that had to do with the story, of course. All of these gifts do. And with it came this cute little bookmark that was part of the story. It says, busy like a bee, frolic like a butterfly, sing like a cricket, mama bug, fly free, which is really cute. So yeah, like these little gifts that are, um, oh, I'm just realizing <laughs> there's also a letter um, that was reproduced from the book. So Once Upon a Book Club does this quite a bit with the regular subscription, um, but like it's not like, I think it's a cute addition. And whenever I open my notebook, I'll remember exactly where this came from. So yeah, so that was really cute. And of course, Song of the Captive Bird and a notebook with a bird on it. Like, how perfect is that? <laughs> Day two came in this really cute little pouch. Um, it has like little hot cocoa in it. I thought it would be something else, but when you read the story, you realize what these gifts are. So let's open it up. And in it was this really cute hat. And on the front, it says, books are life. I hope you can see that. I apologize if you can't. So that is literally my motto of life because, hello, I work with books and I love to read books. <laughs> so that was the hat and inside we had a little note that again was also reproduced from the story. And there you go. I won't, this is a very long note, so I won't read that out to you, don't worry. And it, this hat seems really nice quality. It's got a nice fuzzy interior and it'll keep me warm definitely when I'm shoveling snow. Or walking Charlie because no matter the weather he likes to walk and I needed this. <laughs> Day three it came in this really cute bag. Um, I know a lot of people like if you watch unboxings they'll say you know they'll be a bit annoyed that they can't re-gift any of this stuff because like the page number is printed on it which I get but at the same time like I don't know I just think like, why would I want a sticky note or sticker? You know what I mean? Like, I do, I like that it's printed on. Even though I might not re-gift it or, like, I'll probably try to stick with um, a fellow bookworm so at least they'll understand who, <laughs> like, why it has randomly day three on it and they won't mind. But um, I don't think it's a big deal, just saying. But it's all about personal preference. Anyways, back to the gift. Day three, really beautiful. I love it. And inside... We got this really cute pillow co pillowcase cover. It says, shh, I'm reading because nobody ever knows how to like be quiet when us bookworms are reading, right? Like we're always disturbed by somebody. So I think that this is the perfect pillow to kind of have laying on you or propping your book up. So at least you can say like if somebody asks you something, they've been warned. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really great pillowcase cover. Um, I can't, I need to buy a pillow for this. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this. Hopefully in the new year, I can have like a reading corner or some sort of, because I don't know if we're moving. So hopefully we can have like, you know, a new house or anything. Um, I could just have a reading corner and a really nice comfy chair. Because obviously this uh, office chair that I'm using is not comfy at all. My couch it's too loud so anyways this is really cute uh i'm excited to get a pillow for this and just warn people like leave me alone <laughs> okay day four is another book shaped item i wonder what it could be <laughs> the book we got was the dream daughter by diane chamberlain and this also sounds really good like once upon a book club 
even if you don't subscribe to them, I'd pay attention to their book choices because they find the most interesting and just the best books, I think, for book clubs. Like either it's books that you don't necessarily think you're going to read or be interested in, but then you really love them. Like if you watch an upcoming video of mine um, for the my top 10 BIPOC or POC uh, books of the year, um, one my top book, my favorite book I've ever like of 2020 is a book that Once Upon a Book Club had included. So you know what I mean? Like they find the best books, which that's what I love about them. So yeah, pay attention to their book choices. That's my lesson. If you take anything away from this video, pay attention to their book choices, please. Okay, so <laughs> back to this book. This is another really interesting book. I won't bore you with my voice in reading the description, but it's basically about a woman who who gives birth to her daughter and she has a birth defect and her brother-in-law is kind of like telling her that you know there's a way for you know it's for this to be fixed and stuff like that so it kind of sounds like a mystery thriller but also a like mother like a journey a mother takes or a journey that or what any mother would do to save her child so I'll read the bottom part to you. Uh, Diane Chamberlain pushes the boundaries of faith and science to deliver a novel that you will never forget. So, I mean, it sounds good. Like, probably not the first book I'd pick up in a bookstore, but again, like, that's what Once Upon a Book Club is here for, for us to pick up these books that nobody would pick up because they're actually good. So I have faith in them. Day 5, which I think was my favorite story in this uh, advent calendar, and it came in this cute little... A box which also looks like some kind of wood wooded like book which I think is so cute and inside we have first off it came with a little letter that the that was part of the story which I love and we got this little moisturizer roller which I think is so handy I needed one for quite a while it also comes with instructions on how to use it properly and all that stuff so yeah this is a really fun gift and it's very like it matches the little case and the kind of setting of the story which I think is great I love it it's so cute and I can't wait to use it we're halfway there are you bored of me yet <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna show you this next gift but day six um let me just open it <laughs> So, you think this is a pouch, right? You're wrong. <laughs> it took me forever to pack this up. Actually, no, this didn't take me the longest to pack up for this video. It was the gift on day 11, so keep watching for that. So, in this, we have this really cute bag. I hope you can see it. It is very long because it's got wheels on the bottom. Like, so you can basically, like, roll this bag anywhere you want to go. And yeah, so this was definitely a huge surprise. This is a pouch. Um, I zipped it up because like if you leave it open, it flops down and it doesn't look good. But yeah, you can hide some stuff in here. But I do love the the bag, the size. It's so great. Um, I have a feeling that I'll be going outside a lot during the summer to take photos for my own Instagram and for work. So yeah, this is going to be really handy to have. <laughs> Wish me luck for packing that bag up again. <laughs> Day 7, which came in another pretty package. I love the print on this one. And as you can probably guess, it is a book. But what book is it? So first off, we do have a sticky note that says share your joy, which is specifically from the story. So I can take that off. And we got Little Big Love by Katie Regan, which is it sounds really good. So basically it is about a little boy who's trying to find his father because he knows that his father is the only one who has made his mother truly happy. And in this little boy's journey, he kind of finds out, I believe, the reason why the father left and things like that. So yeah, it definitely sounds like a really good tearjerker. Um, I, I'm excited to read this. I think it's going to be a good one. And yeah, stay tuned for a future review, hopefully. <laughs> Day eight, this is where you can tell that my opening skills are not the best, that there's nothing in here because it is ripped and I couldn't fit it back in. But inside we had these cute little coasters. We got two of them. They had the same print. And yeah, they're little woman coasters, which I thought was super cute. Um, this is great for my desk downstairs or whenever I go back to work. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, this is really great. And coasters are always a great bookworm gift. I've never read Little Woman, so I mean, sue me. <laughs> but I think maybe I'll just like listen to it. Maybe 
don't hold me to that though <laughs> day nine i think besides the books of course because the books were a pretty good deal um I think this would definitely be my favorite like household item household item and that would be for gift nine or day nine sorry <laughs> this box is so cute um this would be really great to re-gift like with the gift card for bookish stuff but inside we have a steering wheel cover which I think is so cool I can't wait to put this on my car even though it's a really bad crappy car I think this is gonna look so good I can't wait um my hands are so cold on it during the winter as I'm sure with any steering wheels so this will help me keep my hands warm at least and I'm so excited I can't wait it smells like a new car also um I hate the smell but you know what we'll wear it in <laughs> it's fine day 10 another book shaped gift so yeah there were four books in total in the in this admin box and then the YA version of that and this is kind of a two-for-one gift so we have this letter and actually if you go and watch my unhaul video my previous video i'll link it down below um i talked about jojo moyes and then we end up getting a jojo moyes book the girl he left behind so i guess i'm gonna have to give jojo moyes another chance but this is gonna be the book that will make or break jojo moyes for me <laughs> this book sounds good and then yeah we had a this little letter that says open on page 171 as soon as she unfolds the note so of course that just tells me that it's a note reproduced from the book which is great so this is really cool um i like this i'm interested to see what i think about the book as well let me just insert this into the page so i don't lose it or don't forget i take it back the story for day 10 actually now that i'm thinking about it is my favorite one of like the short story collections that we read uh but yeah so if you've read this, let me know. Like I said, if you watch my unhaul video, you'll see me talk about uh, Me Before You. I think that's what it was called. But anyways, so let me, if you've read this, let me know how it was. The gift that was the most difficult to put back for this video, that was day 11, but it was worth it. Um, let's hope I don't like catch my finger on it this time like I did. <laughs> So it came in this little black bag, which I thought was nice. And I'm like, what is this? What are we doing? It is a two-part gift. So I'll show you the first part, which was this cute little ring. It was, I hope you can see that. I'm just seeing in my mirror and behind me, it's this cute little ring with the moon and the star, which I thought was cute. Um, I love the box too, which is great for just keeping around my bookshelf probably because that's where everything goes. All right, and <laughs> the other part of this gift but wish me luck oh my goodness that was so difficult oh it's upside down how did that happen i am so confused it got upside down somehow well that sucks but it was basically it's a camp chair but the writing is somehow <laughs> on the other side of the bars, which now I got to figure out. Oh, God. There we go. I got it right now. Wow, that was difficult. I told you it was difficult, didn't I? See, I was this cute camp chair that was part of the story. Um, I don't trust this to hold anybody's weight, though. So it's probably just going to be like a little stand that I leave on the floor or something. Um, and just put my coffee on there. Even then, like, I'll make sure it's like a half cup of coffee so I don't drop it. But yeah, this was really cute. I love the rose gold or gold finish of it. But anyways, um, not packing this up again because that was hard. <laughs> Last but not least, day 12, which I did open up Christmas Eve. I'm not going to lie. The way that this was supposed to run was like December 14th all the way to Christmas Day. But it was Christmas Eve and I was on my way to bed and I'm like, you know what? I'll read the story tomorrow. I'll open the gift today. And I'm like, glad I did. So in it, we get this really nice blanket. It is very big. Um, so I can't show you all of it, but I can cover my head with it. It basically is the first page of Alice in Wonderland or Through the Looking Glass. I'm not sure. But anyways, it's really cute. It's nice. It's a big blanket. And we have, I hope you can see this, the illustration even included in the blanket. So yeah, it's very, it is thin. 
but it's warm like I'm telling you I like I said I was really happy that I had opened it before I went to bed um I put this on my bed at night because I just felt cold and it was the warmest thing ever it kept me and Charlie warm for sure I'm glad he did not destroy this in hindsight it probably wasn't the best thing to do but it's fine <laughs> look how cute it is anyways so yeah, those were the 12 Days of Bookmas, um, courtesy of Once Upon a Book Club, which I'm so happy that I was able to purchase this box. It was definitely a good Christmas gift to myself. I'm truly happy with everything we got. Maybe not all the items are usable, because I know a lot of some people who review the box, um, they talk about usability and stuff. But I think it's just, if you like little things like this, um, they're just cute to have around, just as little props, like within your household, or... Even like that little camping chair, like I'm going to use it to prop up my my drink or something with it. You know what I mean? It's like I'll find uses for all of these things. Um, yeah, definitely my favorite gift, like I said, was the steering wheel cover. I cannot wait to put this on my car. Just going to take a couple photos for Bookstagram and then it's <laughs> throwing it in there. Um, let me know what your favorite gift was for this box. I'm curious to know because we had quite a bit of gifts. We had four books and then eight miscellaneous gifts or other bookish items which I love um yeah so don't forget to leave this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell wherever it is on your screen and yeah I hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday season and I'll see you for my next video